Dianti Creek is one of the most important tributaries of the San Lorenzo River in terms of steelhead habitat. And this creek is also a focal area for recovery of coho salmon. But historic land use in the watershed has really impacted that habitat. Things like road development, logging, clearing of, of logs from the stream. So there's been a real broad recognition of the need to restore Zianti Creek, both to protect habitat for steelhead and coho, as well as to protect and improve water quality. And specifically, it was the lack of large wood in the stream that was identified as one of the real key threats to salmon habitat in this stream. I think it's difficult for people to see how much we've simplified the habitat over the last hundred plus years by removing wood and straightening the streams a little bit and um, making it so that the stream cut down. The goal of the project was to put wood back in the stream in a careful and engineered way in order to create riffles and pools and improve habitat for steelhead and coho salmon and also to help protect water quality by uh, sorting sediment and reducing stream bank erosion. So essentially we were trying to mimic a natural process where mature trees alongside a creek would occasionally fall into a stream and create that complex habitat and that's what we were trying to recreate. So we worked with a number of different partners to install 18 large wood structures along about a mile of Zianti Creek in order to improve that habitat and protect water quality. What we did out here is we tried to replicate the effect of these large old growth redwoods naturally um, being recruited into the stream by using engineering and taking a bunch of small logs and trying to fasten them together and position them such that they would act as a group to replicate the effect of those old large trees that are no longer available to us. All right, this is an example of one, our, one of our structures here. Uh, you see about 20 logs here um, positioned in what seems to be a, a really random pattern, but actually quite a bit of thought went into this. We've got bolts running through some of the larger uh, log pieces to pin them together. These root wads, um, not only do they provide these physical characteristics that we're looking for in the structure in terms of their density um, and, and area, but the complexity of the root mass itself provides a great habitat for fish. At times like this, um, when you've got a pool formation, it's a place for fish to dart into and hide. I would hope to see that the structures that have been installed have really matured and that you can really see spawning gravel has built up upstream of the structures and it's providing really great spawning habitat and that we have deeper pools with lots of cover and we have a lot of kind of messy habitat complexity for young steelhead to rear. This project is really to help not only enhance habitat, but to also show people what it looks like to have a little bit more natural process occur in the stream. We own these properties for the intent of protecting our drinking water sources. So the project, in addition to having benefits for fisheries, has a direct tie into our mission as a water purveyor in terms of the Safe Drinking Water Act and drinking water source protection. We know that there's important value, stream side values beyond fisheries that we need to protect as well, but those are co-equal benefits and we can, we can think about how to protect stream side properties and whatnot and also bring back fisheries habitat. It doesn't have to be one or the other, we can do both if we're mindful about it. This project is what we need you know, all over Santa Cruz County. We couldn't have done this project on our own without the RCD, without the city of Santa Cruz, without the county, all these folks. And these people are not just employees of these agencies, they're dedicated to the fisheries and to the environment. It makes a big difference. When you bring back um, a fish species like a salmon here in a creek, it benefits hundreds of other species. Um, the entire ecosystem benefits. It's not just one fish. The coastal watersheds are now heavily protected um, so there's a lot of hope there. We're not 
making the mistakes that we did in decades past. We're trying to right some of the wrongs. Everyone has a role to play. Whether it's caring for the creek that runs alongside your home, or educating yourself and your neighbors about things like the importance of wood and streams, or even just noticing and appreciating the beauty and complexity of the natural systems in which we live, all of us have an important role in caring for our natural resources. And really, it's, it's what connects us all. <laughs>